Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss one of the types of reading questions. And uh, we are going to discuss yes, no and not given types of questions today. Okay. So we have already discussed uh, true, false, not given questions. So to refer uh, to this true, false, not given question. So you can refer to the link in the description box. And today, uh, we are going to discuss yes, no, not given type of questions, so, which is also similar to that of uh, true, false, not given type of questions. Okay, so uh, this is an example that we are going to solve today. So there are a few statements. Okay, and uh, you have to identify whether the statement is yes, no or not given. Okay, so by reading through this short text. So when can I call a statement is yes? or true okay the conditions now okay so it is similar to that of true okay yes condition is similar to true false condition is similar to no okay and then we have not given that is uh, same okay so now uh, in case of true so we were saying that uh, the information has to match with the uh, information in the passage correct the statement has to match with the information in the passage and similarly for yes okay so the statement that is given should match to the information in the passage or statement agrees to the information in the passage okay so match or agrees so you call it as yes okay the condition is similar okay uh, the true as well as yes condition is similar so only difference is yes no not given is asked so when they are talking about writer's opinion okay and now for no if the information is opposite okay so you have to call it as no and not given if the information is not found in the passage okay and even in true false so not given like i said so what happens uh, sometimes some related information will be present even then when we check the answers it would be not given why because it doesn't satisfy both this condition it doesn't match okay so it doesn't even uh, sorry it is not even opposite so then we have to uh, make our, our write our answer is as not given fine so checking for the other two conditions and writing as not given okay now there is a first statement it is possible to live without consuming salt so it is possible to live without consuming salt they have said so we'll start reading salt is an essential element Without it, life itself would be impossible since the human body requires the minerals in order to function properly. Okay, so what they have said, without it, life itself would be impossible, they have said. So here what they have said, it is possible to live without consuming salt, but they have said without it, without it in the sense without salt, so life itself would be impossible. So is it matching or is it opposite? So possible and impossible. So it is completely opposite. So salt is, uh, it is possible to live without consuming salt. But here they have said without salt, life itself would be impossible. So it is completely opposite. So I'll write my answer as no. Okay, moving on to the next one. Sodium ions control body fluid levels. Sodium ions, ions control body fluid levels. Okay, so we'll read further. Uh, the concentration of sodium, okay, so concentration of sodium ions they are saying, so that is what we are looking for, in the blood is directly related to the regulation of safe body fluid levels. So they have said is directly related to the regulation of safe body fluid levels. So sodium ions here, okay, controls that is regulation, okay, so the body fluid levels, so body fluid, so it is directly related. So it is definitely matching with the information. So I'll write it as yes. Next, salt has only culinary uses. So salt has only culinary uses, they have said in the statement. We'll see what are the things. We may not be aware that this element is used in 14,000 commercial applications, they have said. Okay, from manufacturing pulp and paper to setting dyes in textile and fabric from producing soaps and detergents to make our road safe in winter salt plays an essential part in our daily life okay so what they have said here they have said only culinary uses that is it is only used for cooking uses 
but uh, in this statement they are mentioning so many different uses okay manufacturing textiles paper pulp soaps detergents and roads everything so that is completely opposite correct so it is again no salt deficiency results in diseases okay salt deficiency results in diseases we'll see salt has a long and influential role in the world history from the dawn of civilization it has been a key factor in economics religious social and political development in every corner of the world it has been the subject of superstition uh, folklore and uh, welfare and have even been used as currency okay so they are not telling anything about salt deficiency correct and disease either so that is not given and salt has been used as money so the last sentence which i read and have been used as currency so that it agrees so this answer is yes okay so this is the way so whenever it matches to the information you put it as yes if it is opposite to the information you write it as no or if it is not present or if the first and the second condition that is the condition of true that is matching and the condition of false or no that is opposite if it doesn't satisfy both this so you have to write the answer again as not given okay so try to keep things very simple when it comes for yes no not given type of questions okay so if you like uh, overthink when uh, in this type of questions okay so maybe you will my uh, you might make a mistake over there so that's the reason try to keep it very simple okay so i hope the concepts of yes no not given are clear to you so yes so in the next video we'll see some more uh, type of uh, yes uh, i mean the reading questions so till then keep learning